How's it, BlueTube? This is the Blu-ray Hoarder for my third unboxing of the week. Yes, it's getting close to 50 Blu-rays just for this week. I have a problem. So today, I went to Costco just to pick up my normal groceries that I do at Costco. But it's like a two hour drive, so it took actually about two and a half hours. And I forgot my membership card, so it took another half hour to get a temp card and straighten that out. But I did find some good deals there. So, uh, got some two packs for you. As a two pack Shakur, um, I got an Alfred Hitch Hitchcock set, which is Spellbound, and Rebecca. Both are blind buys, but watching other people's channels, I hear these are pretty good. So, I got these two two packs for. Twelve ninety died, so about six fifty a piece. Um, couldn't resist it. And I got another two pack, and that's another couple older films. And that is The Hustler with Paul Newman and Jackie Gleason. So what else do we got? And that is The Grapes of Wrath with Henry Fonda. Bridget Fonda's Diary. I got that for $12.99 as well. So a couple classics. And if that wasn't enough, across the street, there was a half price books. I've never been there. It's the only bookstore on the island. And I went a little crazy, folks. What did I get? I found a digi book that I didn't have. The Matrix. So, I'll pick this up for about seven bucks. And it looks like it has good content. Not just pictures, but like uh, some um, great uh, info on uh, the cast and crew. So that's the Matrix in great condition. All right, then I got Mother's Day. Uh, just a kind of a kind of a thriller horror um, with Jamie King and Rebecca De Mornay from The Hand That Rocks the Cradle. So uh, yeah, pick that up. Um, about last night, this is not the Kevin Hart one, but the original with Rob Lowe, Demi Moore, James Belushi, uh, and Armed and Dangerous. All these are in great condition, so whoever was the previous owner took great care of it. So we've got some old school John Candy. Eugene Levy and Meg Ryan. And surprisingly, I didn't have this, and that is the cliffhanger. So, um, yeah, gotta have that. And why is this guy dressed up in, like he's working out in the mountains? Weird. Okay. And surprising I didn't own this either, and that is The Grudge. So this is an upgrade. Had this on DVD. Uh, yeah, I never saw this in stores uh, on sale for Blu-ray, so I don't know if this is a out of print or... Uh, limited release. So that is The Grudge. 
which is a remake of Ju On, Japanese film. And this was, I was surprised to find this recent release. I love it. And that is In a World, uh, starring Lake Bale. Uh, so he just wants to be one of those voiceover act, uh, uh, voiceover, um, I guess you would call it a, a actress. But if you've seen, um, what was she on? Lake Bell. She was on a, a movie called Black Rock. No strings attached, but very beautiful woman. And another one I've been waiting to drop in price, but why not get it used? Probably just watched once, and that is Nebraska. So I watched this already, and it was great. Great job by all the cast. Um, I thought Bruce Stern um, and his wife, one of them should have won the Best Supporting um, Actor awards. And then, if one of you guys watched my one of my latest videos, which was uh, top. 10 war movies, this movie just missed it, and that's The Longest Day. Yes, that's John Wayne. So, um, yeah, this is a classic war movie. I was surprised to see it there. And then, La Femme Nikita, so a Luc Besson film, French film. This is what the series was based out, La Femme Nikita. And then, the sublime buy, and that is the whackness. Hopefully it's not whack. Uh, I saw Russell Badiak uh, pick this up. 11.30. So, uh, yeah, it looks interesting. It has uh, Famke Jackson, uh, Method Man, Mary-Kate Olsen, and Ben Kingsley. So, kind of a all over the place cast but worth a check out and then uh take shelter with general zod himself uh and jessica chastain kind of a disaster movie so i like those and last but not least is uh dirty rotten scoundrels it's a 80s comedy so um yeah, there you have it. My Costco and Half Price Books pickup. So, the uh, Half Price Books had a large selection. So, uh, you know, maybe I'll wait a couple months and then go back. See if they got new inventory. But, uh, yeah, I was, I was very pleased, uh, to say the least, to find some recent releases there. Because I don't have pawn shops where, on my island. So it's nice to have some place where you can find used movies. And they do trade. So maybe I'll see what I can get for DVDs to upgrade to Blu-ray. But there you have it. This is my third video in within a week. That's about 50 Blu-rays in one week, guys. You do the math. That is really putting a dent in my bank account. But I am the Blu-ray hoarder. And I will continue to hoard up. Thanks for watching.